On this day, the 2nd of February, 1461, the Battle of Mortimer's Cross. Edward, Earl of March, oldest son and heir to Richard, 3rd Duke of York, was in his family's heartlands on the Welsh marches, gathering reinforcements to help his father when news arrived that he was too late. York and Edward's younger brother Edmund had been killed at the Battle of Wakefield on the 30th of December, 1460. Edward, now Duke of York, and heir to the throne of Henry VI, had a choice to make. He could head to London, meet up with the Earl of Warwick, and try to shore up his position there. The news that an army was heading out of Wales to join up with the one that had defeated his father offered another choice. Stand and fight. An enraged 18-year-old, 6'4 athlete, it was no choice for Edward. As his men blocked the road out of Wales at Mortimer's Cross near Wigmore Castle, a strange phenomenon filled the skies and terrified his men. At around 10 o'clock in the morning, three suns blazed in the wintry sky. Edward's army were convinced it was a portent of evil, an ill omen for the battle to come. There was a real danger that Edward's men, deprived of their confidence, might flee. What they witnessed was a parhelion, also known as a sun dog or mock sun. A parhelion is caused by a cirrus cloud that contains ice crystals in a specific pattern. The alignment of these features causes a bright light that looks like another sun to appear 22 degrees to the left or right or on both sides of the real sun. Edward, in an early example of his grasp of the power of propaganda, turned the omen that frightened his men to his own advantage. He told his men, Be of good comfort and dread not. This is a good sign, for these three sons betoken the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and therefore let us have a good heart, and in the name of Almighty God we go against our enemies. Reassured, Edward's men faced the army coming out of Wales and were brutally victorious. Several thousand Welshmen were killed. James Butler, Earl of Wilshire, and Jasper Tudor, Earl of Pembroke, escaped, but Jasper's father, Owen Tudor, was caught in Hereford and executed in the Market Square, just as Edward's father and brother's heads had been fixed to Micklegate Bar in York. Mortimer's Cross was the first taste of battle for Edward, and he adopted the sun with streamers as his personal badge. He would soon be proclaimed King Edward IV, and would win again at the apocalyptic Battle of Towton, a rarity for this period of unsettled civil war, Edward would never be defeated on the field of battle in his life. Few could claim that accolade. Today in 1461 saw the birth of perhaps the fiercest warrior of his age. Mm -hmm.